Investigators looking into the downing of Malaysian Airlines flight MH17 in eastern Ukraine say Russian missile parts may have been among the debris that was retrieved. Dutch officials are now examining those parts, but they haven't determined whether they are linked to the cause of the crash last year. CNN senior international correspondent Matthew Chance joins us now from Moscow. Uh, Matthew, what can you tell us about this debris? Oh, well, the debris apparently was found by Dutch investigators during a previous visit to the, the crash site in eastern Ukraine. Uh, they've been gathering, of course, uh, not just human remains, but parts of wreckage as well to try and uh, investigate and determine what was responsible for the downing of MH17, that Malaysian airliner, uh, back in July of last year with uh, the loss of, what was it, 298 lives. So uh, a very tragic loss of life. Uh, the latest report uh, is uh, an attempt, I think, to uh, put another piece in that jigsaw puzzle as to what happened, uh, saying they found some fragments of metal that may have possibly come uh, from a Russian-made uh, surface-to-air missile, a so-called Buk uh, missile launcher, of the kind that it's suspected uh, may have been used to down this, uh, this Malaysian airliner. Of course, uh, Russia and the rebels who it supports uh, have categorically denied that they had anything to do with the downing of the airliner, uh, saying that it was the Ukrainian military that should bear responsibility. But again, this is all part of that, um, that puzzle that's being assembled, the, the pieces that are being assembled to try and piece together what exactly happened. We're expecting a fuller report uh, by the Dutch investigators and, and the joint investigation team, which brings together investigators from various countries into exactly what happened later on this year, uh, possibly in uh, October. And so this is just a step towards that, Linda. And Matthew, given that uh, Russia blames Ukraine and Ukraine blames the Russian-backed separatists, how are those geopolitical tensions playing into this investigation? Well, I mean, I think from the Russian point of view, they uh, are, are casting this as a sort of political witch hunt. I mean, just a couple of weeks ago, I mean, late last month, uh, the Russian members of the security, member of the Security Council essentially vetoed uh, a, a, a UN plan to launch an international tribunal into what exactly happened with MH17. It was the only member of the 15-member Security Council at the United Nations uh, that vetoed the, uh, the plan, the proposal. Uh, bringing criticism from virtually all of the other members. Uh, and so it's, it's pretty much out on its own on this, diplomatically, the Russians. Um, the, the evidence appears to be mounting, despite their denials, that it was some kind of missile launcher probably supplied by Russia uh, to the rebels uh, that is most likely to have caused this, this tragedy. Uh, but again, we're going to have to wait for the final report due out in October uh, for, for any real clarity on that. Okay, Matthew Chance in Moscow. Thank you very much.